The interview that we were just talking about off the top of the show here, Amber Nieben joins us here this morning, a world champion cyclist, two-time Olympian. And uh, let's just dive right into your story because you wrote the book, When Schmack Happens, and that's your word for saying... Uh, adversity. Yeah, adversity. Uh, you started at a very young age dealing with adversity. Spinal meningitis? At age four. Yeah, I was a, I was a miracle actually to come out of that. The doctors thought I was gonna die and if I lived, that I'd be brain damaged and deaf. But so far, so good. Yeah, so far, so good. God had another plan for you. Huh? Absolutely, absolutely. So when did you decide that you, you were competitive? You know, I from a very young age, my dad put me on snow skis when I was 17 months old. Um, wow. I played soccer with the boys back when, back in the late 70s, early 80s. You know, we didn't have sports for women like we do now. And so I was playing age group soccer with the boys, little league baseball, uh, recess with the boys, tackle football, whatever I could do, I was always competing and playing. But now, at some point, you turned to cycling, and I'm just, I'm gonna guess, take a wild guess here, it wasn't your first choice. No, it was actually my third choice. Yeah, soccer was the main, and then I switched over to distance running when I was in high school. And then, due to injuries, um, I would got into cycling and just fell in love with it. And it was a perfect match, because at that point, suddenly you are you find yourself amongst the elite athletes of the world I say suddenly but after a <laughs> lot of work and hard training uh, but you know people that ride bikes a lot tend to occasionally fall off of them yeah I've had um, some really gnarly crashes you saw the one earlier um, that was the latest one there were others that were in Italy I've got metal plates in my hand and my collarbone I've had skin graft surgery on my finger um, amongst other things like cancer and, and other miscellaneous illnesses and injuries along the way. Okay, so, so uh, having set all that up for folks, uh, what I promised at the beginning of this is for folks that are like me that are, you know, whining about a blister or something, um, <laughs> there's ways to push through this. But without a little bit of coaching sometimes, like, you know, any sport, uh, folks don't know how to do it. Yeah, you know, I think adversity is not if, it's when. You know, it's gonna happen to all of us in whatever aspect of life we're living. For me, my context is cycling. So I've faced it through cycling. Um, but when it does, it's so important just to have that right mentality. Um, and my faith has played a big part of me overcoming. So I've been able to take on God's perspective and trust that he's been working. And in all of my adversities, as I've chosen to see him, very good things have come out of it. Um, foundations of toughness, um, just being equipped to be able to help other people. Being, um, being pliable and being willing to, yeah. to take a lesson out of something yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, and not, oh, poor me. Right, I mean, you can, see it, you can see adversity as opportunity or you can see it as a burden. And I've always chosen to see it as adversity. Two Olympics, I mean, have you got another Olympics in you? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, I'm not sure right now. I, I have to make that decision pretty soon because next year is really important. Um, praying about it and thinking about it. Um, I'm still real competitive, but the question is, can I get my body back to what it was? Right. Th this is gonna, uh, I'm sure you drive your husband nuts. Are you competitive <laughs> in everything you do? No, not in everything. Really? No, I mean, I, I try to- Give me to... an example where he, he's allowed to win. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. Um, talk to me about your nonprofit uh, a little bit here, because I know that you're, you're helping out uh, a young lady here. What down in the in, in Chula, Chula Vista? Vista. Yeah. yeah. So we've the Dare to Be Project. Um, it is an organization that I started a few years ago. Uh, we take a bike, a helmet, a lock to kids in, you know, in homeless shelters, low-income schools. And recently, we've we've done these hand cycle projects where we've found these young kids who are challenged um, physically, and to bring them a hand cycle so all of a sudden they can they can play and experience freedom of movement oh, and just yeah. just be a kid and yeah right now we're trying to raise twenty five hundred dollars for a, a young lady in Chula Vista um, that's that's the upcoming project and then later in November December we'll do projects at shelters in the Orange County area hopefully we'll help about 130 to 100, 150 kids you know maybe folks watching today could could get on board and help out a little bit I know you know just watching my daughter work with uh, Camp Abel down mm -hmm. in the South Bay, it's an aquatic camp for disabled kids. And watching the change in her life, it's, it's an amazing thing for people to get outside themselves and to offer help to others. And, 
And example for this young lady in Chula Vista, letting her experience something that most kids can, which is cycling. Yeah. But, but you know, otherwise she'd have to sit and watch on the sidelines, and that's not cool. Right, right. And the cool thing with the hand cycle is it's it's the one point in their life where for that moment of time they are normal, you know, yeah. and there's nothing holding them back. And it's such a cool thing to see the just the glow in their eyes and the freedom they experience. Folks. Uh, Help Amber out here and help uh, this foundation out. Where can they go? Um, you know what? My website is down right now, the daretobeproject.org. Um, if you check out my website, is amberneben.com. Um, N E B E N, yeah. amberneben.com. You can contact me there and uh, I'll give you very good instructions on how to help. Fantastic. And, and the book, When Schmack Happens, where can I find that? It's on Amazon. And it's you don't have to be a cyclist to enjoy it. Um, for sure. It's, oh, I thought that went without saying, but I'm glad you yeah, mentioned it. No, you don't yeah. have to be a cyclist to enjoy it. You know, it's written in a way for anyone to take the tools and apply them to their own lives. Very good. All right, Amber Deeman, hey, stay healthy. I'm doing my best. Stay on the wheels, okay? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. It's great to see you. All right, coming up, when the heat is on, the temptation is to pop open a cold beverage, but that drink could actually make you more dehydrated. The best choice is to quench your thirst and support your health. And up next, making a solid investment in social media. Yeah, a few tricks that can help you manage your finances in your spare time. This morning, how the average Joe can learn to outperform a $500.